Hello friends, welcome to Costing Tips and Tricks with KSJ Teaching. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the important tips and tricks that we share with you. And do not forget to hit the like button, like the video and share with all your friends. So what is the tip? Let's see what is the tip now. The tip is related to the overheads chapter, right? Now in the overheads, we have studied something about the under and over absorption. We have studied about under and over absorption, right? While calculating under and over absorption, we calculate one supplementary rate. For supplementary rate, we need three things that you all know. We need three things. What are the three things? We need the closing stock of FG, right? Closing stock of finished goods. We need WIP and we need cost of sale. That is the sale units, right? Sale units. Now, one very common mistake that we commit here is related to the closing stock of FG and WIP. I'll take a very small example. I'll take a very small example. He says finished goods produced. Finished goods produced in a particular period is 20,000. Right. Then you are given WIP that is 8,000. 50% complete. 50% complete. Then you are given sales. 18,000 units. Okay. Now, one very common mistake here is that when you are going to take this uh, units of FG, what you will do is you will take here 20,000. You will take here how much? Uh, 18,000 that is the unit sold and WIP that is here you might take it right that is 4,000. Okay. So now try to understand very carefully, sir, we have produced 20,000 units in a particular period. You have produced this 20,000 units and you have sold 18,000 units. That means, that means your closing stock of finished goods is not 20,000. Your closing stock of finished goods is only 2,000 because out of the 20,000 units that you have produced, you have already sold 18,000 units, right? So what will be your closing stock of FG? It will be minus 18,000. It will be only 2,000. So do not commit a mistake here. Do not take it 20,000. You have to take the closing stock. You produced, you manufactured 20,000. You have sold 18,000 out of that, right? So what is left with you is only 2,000. Now, the second point coming to WIP. When he says in the WIP case, when he says that, sir, it is 50% complete in all respect, it doesn't mean that it has converted into a finished good. No, it has not converted. It means that up to the 50% of the cost has been incurred on these many units, right? So what we do here is when it is say the 50% complete in all respects means 8,000 8, multiplied by 50%. This 4,000 is your equivalent units. This is your equivalent units, right? So it doesn't mean that WIP has converted into finished goods. Then he would have written this in the finished goods, right? WIP means it is a work in progress. The goods has not yet been transferred to the finished goods go down. 50% of the cost has been incurred. It means that equivalent 4,000 units are complete. 4, 000, the cost equivalent to the 4,000 units has been incurred. So that is why we take WIP as 4,000, right? So sale units, uh, all of you must be taking the right way. Okay. So these were the important things, the mistake areas that I have often seen students committing. So I, that's why I shared with you specifically that you have to avoid these mistakes in the examination, right? So guys, do not forget to like this video and share with all your friends. See you with some more tips in the coming videos. Thank you so much.